What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel for another G-Shock tutorial video. So for today's I'm going to unboxing and reviewing this model of GA-700-7ADR. And before we get started, just make sure you subscribe to the channel just by clicking the red button down there. So you can keep up to date with what's happening. So what we are waiting for, let's G! The model of the watch is GA-700-780R, 5522 case number. Let's open it. International warranty card, one year coverage battery and machine. International warranty regulations inside the booklet. You can see all the business partner of G-Shop all over the world. So this is our company Kuwait Al Battle Brothers establishment. Module number 5522 or manual booklet guide. This is the canister cat. Specifications, case, vessel, material, resin. Resin band. Shock resistant. Mineral glass. And 200 meters water resistance. Size of case. 57.5 log to log so from here to here 53.4 the diameter of the bezel the thickness of the watch is 18.4 millimeters total weight is 69 grams other features you can see on your screen Let's take a look at the watch back of the case. Engraving the G logo shock resist shock absorbing structure. Five five two two case number. So the model of the watch is GA does seven hundred stainless steel back. Japan movement and the watch is case in Thailand so water is 20 bar let's uh, move to buckle so the buckle is plastic and the loop or keeper is resin so the band the band is a little bit soft and it feels comfortable when you're wearing the watch.
let's have a closer look in front of the watch so on the bezel you can see the upper bezel it's written here G-Shock so this is the side of the bezel on the screen you can see here the indicator of timer world time alarm stopwatch so this is the indicator of seconds so this is the analog hand and this uh, small screen the negative screen display is the day months and date so you can change to digital hour or 45 day months and date so that is uh, display configuration you can set two different display configuration the watch itself it has uh, five buttons two from my left side two from my right side and below on the bezel this is light one I'm going to teach you every functions of the buttons. So let's uh, start here from adjust. So when you press hold uh, this button after beep, release. The country there is blinking. That is Jeddah. Kuwait time is Jeddah. Same. So this is forward button. So we will search like um, Tokyo. So we will find Tokyo. TYO that is TYO and then press one time adjust it will set automatically so now Tokyo is 10 46 p.m. Analog hand and digital hour is synchronized 1047. So we cleared for the adjust button. Let's move to mode. Mode button it has timer and you can see all oh, the you can see the indicator there. Timer, world time, alarm, stopwatch, and normal display configuration. So timer, you can set like uh, one minute going down. So uh, same procedure when you are adjusting the time. Press adjust hold after beep release. So that is uh, minute, 10 minutes. So for example, only one minute. One. Then one time adjust press start timer mode again for world time world time so you can see here 49 countries you can check also the other 
countries and time. So, for example, Lisbon, London, Madrid, Paris, Rome, Berlin, Athens, Cairo, Jeddah, Dubai, Kathmandu, Delhi, Bangkok, Singapore, Hong Kong. So, that is country, guys. Countries. Alarm. So, how many alarms we have? Two, three, four. Four alarms and one snooze. Same procedure when you are adjusting the time. So, adjust hold. After beep. So, now the hour is blinking. For example, three in the morning. And then, press one time adjust. Now, the alarm is active. Stopwatch. So, stopwatch. This is start button. If you want to stop, start, and this is reset. So, this is normal display configuration. So, we click for the mode button. So, this reset. So this reset button, uh, you can change to uh, different uh, display configuration. So it has a day, months, and date. If you press one time, so it will change to it will turn to uh, digital hour. So that is timekeeping mode. And this start button is shortcut for stopwatch. Stop, reset. And the last button is light. So let's try this on my wrist. Date release of this watch last March 30, 2017. The price of the watch is $30. In Philippine money is 5,000 pesos. So guys that's it so thank you so much for watching until the end and I hope you learned from our video and if yes please comment down below for more suggestions and like share and subscribe and see you in my next vlog guys peace